was red-shirted. He was not an academic problem. Just needed a year to develop a little more and practice with the team. Dick, all honesty, Danny Nee would have liked to have redshirted one of those three kids this year. Well, he wanted to redshirt one of the freshmen, but they all really feel they're ready to play right now. And he thought that they might have been a little unhappy, so he's giving them a shot. On the turnover, here comes Trailer, Sanchez. trailer He's got trailer. the numbers, but he takes it all the way. He's a good open court player. Could have given it to Johnson. They're going to need Johnson to give a spark. Roger, the next three minutes will determine whether we have a game or not. In other words, if they can get a little spurt right now, Nebraska, and get the crowd into it. The crowd's been very quiet. Big crowd, biggest of the season, and Chubbick comes up with the basketball. 43-35, eight-point lead with just two minutes gone here in the second half. Jamar Johnson's got to make some things happen. He's got to start looking for the goal. Chandler's got 15. This season average is 10. Not the guy you would think would be their number one option in a key situation. He would be like their fourth option offensively. They're making things happen defensively. Look at this guy diving. Mayakowski was all over the place. Tom Osborne wants him right now. He's sending the helmet off. Wide open from three-point land. And Jordan can't get it. Chandler sends it to Mayakowski. It's three on two. The oh, bounce nice pass break. to Magic. Nice break. They're up and up and away here, baby. They're starting to get loud. That's an 8-3 run for the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. And they've cut the lead down to four. They don't want to go away, baby. They're not going to go away. So here's where experience in that backcourt. Jordan and Walters, patience, poised, looking for the great shot. Crowd on their feet here at the Devaney Center. They raise, yeah, they raised ticket prices and they sold more season tickets than ever this year. As Woodbury trips coming in, and the foul is going to be on Piakowski. Think what about that call? A guy's driving to the basket, he trips over somebody's foot. Well, I think. Eddie Hightower is really one of the premier refs in the game. What I'm I not like saying he's not. Right? What I like about him, Roger, he makes the call with authority. He really does. Now, you take a look right here. We're going to see here. Oh, there's the slap. The reason for the call was the slap on the arm. As soon as you put that arm in, you're going to blow the whistle. Hayakowski's third foul. Walters for three. Badgett the rebound. He's really played a great start here in this half. Bajakowski loses it. It'll be Kansas basketball. Danny Knee. Danny better take it easy. You know, he had back surgery himself this past year, and he's working the sidelines right now. He's an Irish man from out of New York City. There was no chance for him not to go to Marquette when Al McGuire came in his house, sat down with his mom and dad. He said it was all over. I was heading to Marquette. Played for Power Memorial with a guy by the name of Lou Al Sindor. He's a tough street kid from New York. Known later as Kareem Abdul Jamal. Hancock spins it back out to Jordan Woodbury in there along with Scott and Paul. Playing three guards right now. And the foul's going to be on Richard Scott against Chandler away from the ball. And that's his fourth, Dick. And Roy Williams can't believe the call. He's going to pass out. Here, Richard Scott staring. Gotta get him out of the game, which he's gonna come in for. A lot of enthusiasm and spirit. They have really revitalized this program in terms of excitement, Danny D. There's a pull him inside. Now let's see what he does here. He's trying to get post position inside. Oh, he drives him out of bounds. You're not allowed to sit in the post to get that swim stroke and the back in on a off defensive player. Scott's fouled out of three games this year. That's the most on the Kansas squad. And Strickland 21 is in there now, along with Chubbick. Also Johnson as Chubbick takes it on the baseline. Tipped around, and Hayakowski comes away with it. Early in this half right now, Nebraska. Three, he's got it. Nebraska's really out hustling Kansas on the glass. It's a one-point ball game. Kansas 43, Nebraska 42. Nebraska just really plays so tough against Kansas here. They've beaten them five in the last six years. Chandler, the rebound, and with 15.30 to go. Well, they answered the call after halftime. They had to come out with a spurt, and they did. Chandler, the turnaround, and is fouled by Eric Hawley. And that is the third on Pauly. So now Scott with four, 
Hawley with three, and all of a sudden, Derek Chandler thinks he's an offensive machine. I'll tell you one thing, they're doing a good job getting the ball in deep because Chandler's allowed to get some deep position inside. So Chandler will go to the free throw line, and he has uh, spent a little bit of time there so far today. What a great Five coach. out of six. What a great coach he played for in high school at Morgan Wooten. Won his thousandth game this year as a coach. John Wooden certainly sings his praises, saying that he could coach on any level, Mr. Wooten. Nebraska's last lead was at 4-2. to two. This free throw can tie it at 43, and he misses them both. And Pauley comes away with a rebound. Well, you know, they're 10-1 at home. The only loss was to Dana Altman's Kansas State team, which has really been a surprise at 14-3. They've got an excellent point guard in Dean and a good wing player in Vincent Jackson. Kansas State's been really tough this year. A kid named Ski Jones can score for him. 43-42. Beat, beat him by a deuce here, 66-64. Jordan thought about it, takes it inside, off the glass, and the offensive foul on Adonis Jordan. Nebraska doing, a, doing an excellent job, rotating over, closing off driving angles. That's his third foul. Jimmy and Chris for New Bren. Jimmy, relax. Have some fun. Who says I'm not having fun? You can't go on forever. Want to bet? Admit it. Sometimes it hurts. Ooh. So I noob it. Noob it. And it's gone. I noob it, too. Nuprin works for me. It's strong medicine. Some people know how to stay in shape. Why, thank you, Jimmy. Noob it. With Nuprin, the body pain medicine. Now from the makers of Nuprin, noob it with new backache for lower back pain. The Buick LeSabre. Family Circle Magazine's domestic family car of the year. LeSabre won by finishing first in important family categories like value, comfort, dealer satisfaction, performance, safety, style, and of course, dependability. Buick LeSabre, a welcome addition to the American family. When the Schultz's home was damaged, they saw how State Farm reacts. Your State Farm agent and a State Farm Claims representative go right to work for you. We work together to avoid needless hassles and delays and speed your homeowner's claim to help you get your life back to normal as soon as possible. Our teamwork speeds your claim. It's another reason State Farm insures more homes than anyone else. State Farm is there. ABC Sports Raycom Telecast is being brought to you by Pizza Hut. Sometimes you gotta stop and smell the pizza. By Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Light. And by Valvoline. People who know, use Valvoline. Nebraska on an 11-0 run the last three minutes and 57 seconds. And Dick, we had a chance to spend some time with the Knee family last night. There's Janet. Janet, a lovely lady. You talk about a great story. At age 25, she was stricken with cancer. They told her she had six months to live. What a miraculous story. They said she never could have children. He has two beautiful children. Ten years, the cancer's been in remission. And what an inspiration it's to so many people. She wanted to say hello to her mom and dad, Ben and Arlene. We say hello to them in out in Pittsburgh. Okay. Turnover by Jamar Johnson right there. As the foul trouble looks like this, Scott with four, Pauly and Jordan with three, and Piakowski with three for Nebraska. It's a one-point ball game. Kansas leads at 14-30. Left to go as Hancock and Jordan Walters, Pauly and Richie, and uh, off the foot of uh, Jaron Boone, who has checked into the game. Boone, the high school player of the year in Utah. You know, his dad and I have a lot in common. He's a broadcaster for the Utah Jazz. We both are, like to play a lot of golf, and we both work with guys that talk a lot. He's with Hot Rod Hundley, and I'm with Dick Vitale. I'm very shy and introverted. <laughs> Hot Rod was one of my favorite players down in West Virginia. Yeah. This game, though, to set the scene again, Roger, so big for Nebraska at 14-7 and 2-4 and and in the league. They really need a big win here to excite that committee. 
when it comes time to make the selection. They can't afford, I don't believe, to go down 2-5 in the league. Dick, they've really stepped it up defensively here in the second half. They're going after the loose ball, and they're really showing a lot more hustle. See right there, that was a good example. Strickland was going for it. And he's playing Woolridge, Strickland, and Boone, playing the three freshmen together right now. Let's see if they can match up with the experience of a guy like Jordan on the floor and Walters. And he's got Best in there along with Chandler as Walters. Looks inside to Richie on the baseline and the reach-in foul before the shot down there. And the foul's going to be on Strickland. What they do so well, Kansas, they really anticipate each pass. They really do a great job knowing where people are on the floor and moving the basketball. He's such a masterful teacher, Roy Williams. Now, right now, they're going to reverse the basketball. He's going to drive it into Walters. Now, Walters is going to get it, and he's going to dump it down. He could have shot that basketball. He was wide open, but he said, no, my teammates got probably a better shot. He was fouled. Richie inside. Woodbury trapped over there by Best. The arrow going towards Kansas. You don't want to bring the ball to the sideline because now the sideline becomes another defensive player. Kansas takes care of the basketball awfully well. Those two guards, Walters and Jordan, are both with over 90 assists coming into the game. The thing you love, Jordan, his assist turnover ratio, Dick, is 3-1. to one. I mean, that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. When you're not turning that basketball over and getting the high percentage shot, you're really going to have yourself a chance to get a lot of basketball games. Fouled on the way to the basket. No hoop. The foul's going to be on Best, and that is his third. So Tom Best seeing his first action in several weeks. So we get a couple of substitutions now. It's Piekowski and Chubbick check into the uh, ball game. And Chandler's going to get a breath. I made an error before. I said that Woolridge was on the floor. It was Johnson. Johnson going to the sideline. He did lose to Muncie Central High School in a state championship as a Southwood. They were 28-1 with Sean Kemp, his Concord High School team. And Elkhart, senior year, lost to Damon Bailey's high school team in front of 41,000 fans. And Johnson was runner-up as Mr. Basketball in Indiana back in 1990. Mr. Bailey. Yeah. Still a one-point game. Kansas has just had the one three-point shot by Walters, and Richie throws it away. They're doing a good job changing defenses as well, Nebraska. Really doing an excellent job trying to change a rhythm to get Kansas out of their really smooth passing game. Nebraska has outscored Kansas 11-3 in the second half, and the final in overtime. See Charlotte beats Tulane, USC Charlotte. Lang with 20 points and 16 rebounds. That's their first loss, Tulane, in the Metro Conference. Piakowski for three. Had the good look and a little curl boot through the body. Got the good look at the basket. Ostertag is in the game. The ball went off of him. Arizona leading Cal. I'll tell you, the Wildcats coming on strong here in the second half of the year. They've got that Pac-10 all wrapped up. Oh, they're dominating. UCLA has really been into a slide. It'll be a miracle, I really believe, to see Jimmy Herrick back on that sideline next year because I really think all the frustration, the anxiety, and whether he leaves on his own or whether they make a coaching move, I think it's going to be tough for him to repeat there with all the pressure that's being mounted. Best is taken in and off the glass, and Best has his first two points of the day, and Nebraska has their first lead since it was 4-2. to two. An amazing comeback here at halftime. Best playing the first game after three games he missed with a back problem. Ostertag inside and going up. Well, I'll tell you what, Boone went high. He skied. And he smiles. He plays with so much enthusiasm. Danny Lee's going to like this run they're on, a 15-3 run. You know, you talk about his freshman. He had those kids here from Omaha. He's trying to set a trend that he wants to keep the great high school player in the state of Nebraska. In 1986, Kansas had two Omaha kids, Ron Kellogg and Cedric Hunter, the point goal. As the ball entered inside, now watch the help from the weak side. Here comes Boone. He says, my dad, Ron, he couldn't do that. He could shoot the rock, but he couldn't guard you like that. Oster tag makes the second one. A 63% free throw shooter. He's got seven. His dad was a solid player. Played 13 years combined in the ABA and the NBA. The dish, and Chubba going for the jam after Strickland gave him the nice feed. Best can't get it. Chubba, the offensive board, loose. Comes back over Ostertag, and finally the big man from Duncanville, Texas, pulls it away. That was a tough shot right there by Chubbick. Shooting 52% for the year, that's not the way you shoot 52%. Strickland's so explosive, he's going to be one heck of a player. And a 21. Woodbury inside, and Steve Woodbury now with 11 points. He gets the news, but what a great look by Rex Walters. Tremendous team concept. 46-44, Kansas by two, Strickland, and Richie the rebound. Came off that curl move, that shot was going down last week against
against Missouri at 28, number 21. Boone got a hand on it. Strict oh, the same. Great athletic ability. What agility right there. Tremendous hustle by number 21. Best finds Piakowski. Bounce pass to Chubbick. The fake blocked by Ostertag, and they're going to call him for the foul. And that's three on Ostertag. Nice look right there by Piakowski to get the ball over to Chubbick. There's Walters. Look at this play right here by Strickland. Tremendous hustle. Goes diving in the seats. I mean, he shows why he could be a great defensive back. Three sports star in high school. Baseball he plays right now. He's like Charlie Ward, two sports yeah. star. Plays baseball with the Marlins. First, first athlete in Nebraska history ever to do that, and he's a 430 hitter in high school. Had a little bit of trouble with the curveball, though, Dick, down in the rookie league. Well, everybody does. I tell you, one of my favorite players, I followed him through high school, living in a Bradenton area, Tommy Frazier. My wife and I used to go watch him play on Friday night for Manatee High School for Joe Canaan, state champs this year again. Frazier now, the freshman here, quarterback for Nebraska, and he also recruited. Hey, steal my say, it's awesome, baby. Right. Come on, you can't do that. Oh, he gives me a little plug there anyway. <laughs> Chubbick with just two points, both at the free throw line. Try to get his third here, and does. And Chubbick gets it a tie, 46. Hi, Mary. We're running right on schedule for one. So confirm our 3 o'clock with Emerson, our 4 o'clock with Moore, and our 5 o'clock with Sherman. Whoa, Mary, we just hit one heck of a traffic jam. Better postpone our 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, our 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, and our 5 o'clock till tomorrow. Introducing the new Steak Lovers Pizza from Pizza Hut. Special sauce, delicious steak, onions, and three kinds of cheese. We shouldn't be doing this. Hey, guys, sometimes you gotta stop and smell the pizza. We've got a bit of an edge with the driver we have. We've got the best driver out there. So it's, it's a matter of, of the mechanics just not overlooking anything. Al and I stay in, uh, stay in constant uh, communication uh, during the race. Uh, I have to be aware of what he wants or needs, you know, at all times. I think the small details are the, uh, is what makes the difference between winning and running second.
three for three hits. Well, they'll trade that three for two. Had the deuce, Richie comes back, says that's okay, Darren. Piakowski blocked by Pauly, but they call him for the body. I really like Piakowski. He's getting up and down to court in transition, getting out in the break. Four fouls on Eric Pauly. And Kansas with some foul troubles with 10-11. Left to go in this game as Ostertag will check back in with Scott and Walters. I'll tell you what would drive a coach absolutely crazy, Roger. Think about it. This club gets beat by 27 points the other day in Nebraska by Iowa State, who's like unbelievable at home. You get them out of Hilton Coliseum. I don't know what Johnny Orr's team does after there, but they're unbelievable at home in Ames, Iowa. But you talk about this team now bouncing back with a great effort today in challenging Kansas. And the same last year. They can be by 26 by Missouri and come back and be Kansas two days. Oh, there it is. Now watch the missed jam, but it goes all the way back. Hancock says, that's a pass. I try to throw it to my perimeter people for a three. And Piakowski gets them both, and it's 50-49, Nebraska by one. The crowd could be big in this, giving his team a lift. These young kids from Nebraska. The 200th meeting between these two teams, longest in Big 8 history. And this rivalry has been very intense. Adonis Jordan, the only Kansas player on the floor that's beaten Nebraska in Nebraska, and that happened his freshman year. As Rayford dishes it back to Ostertag. Ooh, that was a brick. Changed the man-to-man -man defense, came out of the zone, went to the man-to-man. Piatkowski -man. has it stripped, loose ball. Chandler, and he travels. They did a little dance right there, Chandler. Now you talk about the Big Eight, Oklahoma State. What a job Eddie Sutton's doing. Had to reload, loses guys like his son. He loses Alexander. He loses Byron Houston, Corey Williams to the NBA. Brian Reeves is probably the most approved player in America, leading the Big Eight in scoring and rebounding. The seven-footer, who the pro scouts really think has a heck of a future. They call him Big Country, and we'll be seeing Kansas and Oklahoma State later in the year as Chandler went up against Ostertag that time, and the foul. The Big Eight has really done a great job elevating its personnel. Its personnel has gotten better and better in terms of the recruiting process, getting better and better athletes. Adonis Jordan has checked back in for the Jayhawks. Dick, over 100 assists every year that he's been at Kansas. Oh, he's just a brilliant player. I've been watching him now for four years, and I really love his play. I think it's going to be really strange to see Kansas and Duke play without Jordan and without Hurley. Ostertag at the line, a 63% free throw shooter. That's been a problem for Kansas, shooting free throws. They were shooting about 71%, which is not bad as a team, about two weeks ago, and now they're down into the high 60s. 68%, and he misses them both. I'll tell you, free we haven't seen a, seen a real good free throw shooting team this year. Well, Duke doesn't shoot too badly yeah. at the line. They really make them count when it really uh, matters. You're going to win a lot of close games if you can execute down the stretch on a free throw. Boone, open, three-pointer. And Chandler the rebound over Ostertag, short, battled on the baseline, and Scott playing with four gets it. You know, the last five years, free throw shooting has really declined across America. It keeps coming down and down statistically. Tipped away, Kansas gets it back. Walters for three, and loose ball, Piekowski. He seems to be around the basketball all the time. Well, that's his game. He's got that great blue-collar attitude, plays really hard, a lot of intensity. Kansas is going to have to make that perimeter shot. Oh, the back nice court. cut, Cuts. nice cut. Piatkowski from Jamar Johnson. Well, a great look by Johnson, but Piatkowski did a tremendous job to catch the ball and to shoot it with control. 16 points for Piatkowski, and this is the biggest lead for the Cornhuskers. It's three. 52-49, Walters drops it to Scott, and the whistle inside. The foul's going to be on Chandler, and that's his second. Well, if you're Nebraska, I don't think you mind Scott going to the foul line. You'd rather put him there than have him jam that down and get that deuce. Because as Dick speaks, we'll tell you that Richard Scott shoots 44%. You, know, you, talk about, you talk about great environments in college basketball. Lawrence is certainly very special. I mean, when you go up there, the enthusiasm, the spirit, it's building in a lot of places. But still, Lawrence, the Carrier Dome, I mean, I can't wait. I'm going there tomorrow. The Carrier Dome is one special place with 25,000 plus fans all the time. Down at Duke and Cameron Indoor Stadium, Rupp Arena down in Kentucky, and also Bloomington, Indiana. Those are my five favorite places. Scott misses the first one. You see both of these coaches substituting a lot. Nebraska gets 32 points a game off the bench. Kansas gets 30 points a game, so they really use 10 players, both of these teams. Well, why scholarship a player if you're never going to get any Exactly. That's a good point. You know, Roger, free throw 
Schmidt's gone down as we see him miss the two right here. Because of the hours you're allowed to practice, the latest start, players just don't have the time to be in a gym like they were years ago. Yeah, but they can go out and find a hoop and shoot free throws, Dick. Come yeah. on, I'm not buying that but for it's one not, second. It's, you got to want to do it on your own. Yeah, but it's not the same as shooting under pressure like yeah. you can with a coach targeting you and evaluating you. Strickland misses. You want to battle with me now? I'll be, <laughs> hey, I'm going to be rid of both. You're going to be dokes, baby. Go out in the first round. Well, this thing ain't going to last long, is it? It's going to be a short argument. What a ripoff that was. Wait a second. Now. This is a basketball. What a boxing. We can talk about football here if you want, but boxing we're not talking about. And loose ball, timeout on the floor. We'll return to ABC's college basketball after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Get a T.O., baby. Get a T.O. Miss the time You may not have given side impact collisions much consideration, but Buick has. You may not know that by the year 1997, all cars will be required to meet the U.S. government's side impact safety standard, or that the Buick Regal sedan meets this standard today, four years in advance. But it is important information, and we think it's definitely food for thought. Only three days until the King of Pop talks to Oprah live. Six wheels, a dish on top, and a Winnebago we go. Friends since the second grade, products of Altoona, PA. That's Jack, the Butch Cassie of the Poconos. That's me, Andy, now Mr. L.A. To boldly go where no man has gone before. That's Jack's motto. I say if you can't get there by car, you have no reason being there. Well, here's to new faces and places you don't see in L.A. But I still say if you got a cold old mill and a view that fits on a 12-inch screen, it doesn't get any better than this. She's a blue-eyed blonde with a black Cadillac, deep dish chrome and a hair tied back. On the seat next to her is the Taco Bell sack, burritos from Taco Bell. Chicken burritos made to please, with roasted chicken and cheddar cheese. Delicious chilitos with chili and cheddar, bean burritos with cheese never tasted better. A bright red sweater and a smile on the face, her eyes light up with every taste. Burritos from Taco Bell. Health Watch, weeknights on News Watch 7 at 5. Well, tonight, a movie double feature, first at 7, 6 Central. Pebbles and Bam Bam have grown up, Dick, and they're ready for marriage in the all-new full-length Flintstones movie. I yabba dabba do, Baby, huh? And LeVar Burton stars with Jill Clayburg and Michael Gross in Firestorm, 72 hours in Oakland on the ABC Sunday Night Movie. That's tonight. I know the Flintstones is one of your favorite shows when you're Oh, working, no huh? question, huh? There you go, Wake Forest over Temple, 80-53 in the second half as we have 7, 41 left to go, 52, 49, Nebraska leads it by 3. I think it's a good move by Roy Williams going to a half-court trap. Let's see if they have an answer for it. Woodbury strips it from Chubbick inside, and the foul's going to be called on Woodbury. That's his first. The one thing you want to do against the 1-3-1 half-court trap, you want to go 2-1-2 two, two against it. You want to put a guy at the high post. You're looking to bring the ball from the wing diagonally opposite. But I still think it's a good move to bring up some rotation, try to pop out of the ball, get a turnover, and go up the other way for a score. Dick Kansas shooting just 25% in the second half, 3 out of 12. That's so really uncharacteristic for Kansas. They're such an excellent executing team and shooting 55%. Chubbick has made all four free throws he's attempted so far today. He's been their most consistent player, 52% from the floor, has started all 21 games for him, and nails another one. He's got a nice touch, shot 59%. 54-49. They're going to need the perimeter shot. They're going to have to set some people knock it down because what they're doing here, they're going to lock it up on Jordan. And the steal by Gregory. And they say he was out of bounds. So everybody, the change in attitude. I don't know what Danny Lee told them at halftime, but there has been a transformation in this Nebraska team. Well, I think the crowd really has helped them a lot as well. And the fact that they started to play some good basketball. Look at them right now, lock it up defensively. See right here, pressure on the basketball, and everybody else is going to deny. There's the denial. You call a ball, you man defense, deny the pass, one pass away. The official's talking about a new 45, and they're going to put a new 45 up there for Kansas, as Woodbury and Ostertag, Scott Walters, and Adonis Jordan for the Jayhawks. Nebraska 
thought Amos Gregory was going to be the answer on the interior. Had that great rebounding record over at Aquinas College. 14 a, rebounds a game. They won a national championship his freshman year. Had a lot of personal trouble, though, this uh, past fall. Oh, lost his brother in that yeah. tragedy. Didn't start the practice until December 19th. That's Gregory out on Ostertag there. Look at the big man, put it on the deck. And then he throws it away. He's 7-2. He was thinking he was a point guard, but he's 7-2 as Johnson comes to the other end. And Badgett will find Strickland wide open. Now inside to Gregory. Good look, and he blows the easy one. Nice pass by Strickland. A little high-low entry. Walters inside to Scott. And the whistle. They wanted the offensive foul. They thought Scott put the ball inside and then ducked in. They counted. Danny D with that smile on his face. But really down inside, it hurts. The basket counts, so Scott with the hoop at eight points. What a job he did at Ohio University. Took him to the NCAA tournament several years. But they wouldn't give him a multi-year contract. Everything was a one-year contract. Won 26 games here two years ago. Had this place going crazy. But they have never won a game in the NCAA tournament. Lost to Connecticut last year. Connecticut blew them away. And then they lost the year before to his buddy, Peter Gillen, Xavier. Dick, obviously, they did not count the basket. Scott shooting out his second. The official gave the uh, signal. Hey, he made two in a row. Yeah. 44% shooter. That's Came up big there. Big news in Lawrence. They go to a 2-2-1 press now. They change their press. They do a multitude of things. Very difficult in playing against this Kansas team. Three-point Nebraska lead with six and a half to go. You need really excellent backcourt play to handle their defenses, to read the defenses. Gregory, bad pass. He's turned it over. Here goes the dunk. Walters and Jordan. Here goes the dunk. Oh! And the foul on Badgett. Good play by Badgett. Even though that this guy's an 80-some percent free throw shooter, He's got great legs. He vertical jumps about 37 inches. Watch the defensive pop. They pop the boost. All loose. As Woodbury with the kick out. Walters releases. He wants to go up and jam. And there's the reach in by Badgett. So Walters will go to the line. Uh, Dick, he's uh, one of the candidates this year for the John Wooden Award. I think that award will come down to Mr. Cheney, Mr. Mashburn, Anthony Hardaway. Didn't have a great game yesterday. He was under the flu, but they beat Cincinnati. Cincinnati gets beat. You know, not a major upset. You lose on the road today in college basketball. They lost at Memphis State. Larry Finch has done an amazing job holding that team together after losing David Vaughn, their 6'10 guy, or they would have been a top-10 team in America. Walters with just six points today. He's got a great stroke on a free throw line. Watch his follow -up. And that's a violation. And, uh, well, if free throw counts, it would have been a violation if Walters had, had missed it. He missed would have gotten yeah. another one. He would have got another chance. A lot of pressure right now. And see, Nebraska is not responding well to it. And we talked about this at the top, Dick. They turn it over again. Turn it over against the defensive change by Roy Williams. Going to a little trap. One point game. Oh, oh the wall. Okay. He walked right and there. And Badgett goes high for the rebound. Six minutes left to go. One point. Nebraska lead. Badgett. And got oh! with eight in the second half 11 for the game woodbury off the glass he's got such long arms dick and such a fine touch inside you notice it's winning time and who's on the floor doesn't matter who starts steve woodbury's going to be there when it counts 56 55 hey this is a low scoring game both of these teams average in the 80s well both teams came after each other defensively very aggressively hyatkowski stuck inside gets it to badge it outside Pidkowski for three, in and out, and the rebound battled around. Scott tries to save it and does. Good job by Richard Scott. The book usually says if you have great guard play, you usually win at the end of the game. Woodbury for three. And Kansas would get the edge there because of their guard combination with Jordan and Walter. Scott with the miss, Chandler the rebound. Five minutes to go, and it's a one-point Nebraska lead. Woolridge is in there. He takes a shot. In and out. Won't go. Didn't make a pass on offense that time. Didn't use any clock whatsoever. Not really a good decision. Walters for three. Chandler battles Polly. Woodbury gets it. Stripped away, and they're going to call Chandler for the foul. Woodbury coming up with the big play. I'll tell you what, Chandler was having a few words with Woolridge under there, too. Badgett's a real slashing player. Watch number 43 come up with this miss by Pauley. 
We're going to watch the rebound by the freshman. He says, right now, I'm putting my head down. I'm going coast to coast. Going to change the direction. He's going to slide. He's going to glide. He's going to finger roll it. And he's going to can it. And he's going to sprint back on defense. See, Number 43, Danny says, you know, that was a great play. You did exactly what I wanted, Terrence. That was really super. Two freshmen there, Batch at the redshirt freshman. As Woodbury goes to the line. See, harnessing that great ability of those young high school players trying to make the transition to Woolridge's, the Boons, and the Stricklands is really a difficult job for a coach, especially playing against superb teams like Kansas, where you can't afford to make mistakes and expect to win. And that was a mistake by Woolridge, shooting the ball too quickly. See, Woodbury's season average so far today. He's got 14, make it 15, and Kansas back out on top with 4.41 to go, 57-56. Woodbury had 17 against Missouri. There's the trap. she got to post up against that trap and beat the basketball. Reach-in foul against Richie. So many kids against a trap, Roger. They wait for the ball to come to them. The key in receiving the basketball is step and meet the ball. And you catch a ball with your eyes as well as you do with your hands. You have to focus and really, really visualize that ball coming and step and meet it. Jamar Johnson will go to the line. Last year, he was such a key for this team. He led him in three-point field goal percentage, free throw percentage, assists, and steals. I think he felt the pressure of all the popularity and the notoriety and the publicity of all the local kids coming here. Everybody expecting them to step in and be instant stars. Strickland and also Woolridge. Woolridge is the all-time leading scorer in the history of the state. Needed 50 points to break his buddy's record in the final game. He gets 50, and he has a four-point edge on his buddy Strickland for the all-time leadership in the state. But that puts pressure psychologically on Mr. Love Johnson. Good job by Chubbick, and the reach-in foul is going to be on Hancock. So after Johnson missed the second free throw, Chubbick, another of those guys that finds himself around the basketball, and the foul's on Darren Hancock. Hancock really struggling. It could really be the problem trying to come back, playing with those goggles. I don't believe he really feels comfortable with them. In fact, today at the shoot-around, he wasn't wearing them, and Roy Williams had to remind him. He said, you got to get them on to get adjusted to them. It's going to take him a little while. Well, he told me before the game, it's the fourth different pair that he's tried as Chubbick nails the free throw. He is perfect from the line, six out of six. The other thing uh, Hancock said, he says, you know, these are the nice ones. He says, these look better than the other ones, too. I'll tell you, the other thing he is, he's got great attitude. He came out of junior college with a big reputation. People thought instant stardom. Very difficult to adjust to play in a system like that. 59-57, two-point lead for Nebraska with 4.25 to go. And we go down to winning time. Big game for Nebraska, 2-4 in a conference, 14-7. And, and they really need a quality win over a nationally rated team. Hawley faces up, the shot won't go. Battle tipped around, and they're going to call Woodbury over the top. Yeah, Woodbury with the foul. You know, Roger, they were blown out by Michigan, beaten by Southwestern Louisiana in the Rainbow Classic by 29. They got blown out by Iowa State. So they really need a big-time win over somebody who really that's quality like Kansas. Well, they need to step it up in the conference, too. Uh, Dick, you know, the fact of the matter is the Big Eight, six teams last year in the tournament. Nebraska was one of those teams. The, the conference has reached another level. Maybe it's not quite as good this year as it was last year, but Kansas is ranked third in the nation, and a win today could go so far for them. Oh, no doubt. As it comes, off, boom, comes up empty on the free throw. Tipped around. Loose ball. Look at Chubbick. Hit the deck, and Walters will come the other way with four minutes to go. Walters and Jordan down the stretch. So tough to beat them, especially with Woodbury on the floor. Holly uh, knocked it away. Looked like the ball was still up on the cylinder. And here comes Jamar Johnson, the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. Less than four to go, and Nebraska leads Kansas 59-57. Well, it's important right now for Nebraska not to let Kansas get a one-point lead because they'll spread the court with their three guards. Chandler inside. Chandler. A pass from Boone, and Chandler's got 17. He comes up big on the inside. A guy that's supposed to be a non-scorer. Four-point lead. Scouting report says he can't score. He's got 17. Jordan goes right by, trying to inside it to Pauly, but Chubby comes up with it. And now with 3.23 left to go, Nebraska's got a four-point lead. And his crowd starting to believe, really believe. They're smelling last year when Jamar Johnson with the rock right now hit a buzzer beater in overtime to beat Kansas. Ivkowski, Johnson, Chubby, Chandler, and Jerron Boone. Trying to run a little delay. Double stack up high. You can't give a lot of help out of this delay. Johnson, the baseline pop. Won't go the rebound by Woodbury. 
Kansas, if they got the lead, would spread the court over four corners and utilize Woodbury, Walters, and Jordan. Very difficult to defend them, but they can't use that with their with being behind. Pauley and count it. Pauley with the big deuce inside. Back to the basket, gets in deep, gives the head fake. Fouls on Chubbick, his second. Jordan right now is going to throw a bounce pass. Good elementary pass. Fundamentally solid. There's the head fake. He gets the defensive play to react. Mm. What do you think, Dick? I think it's a good call. It's a good call. I really think good call. I think the head fake got the defensive player to bump him. Held his pivot foot. Got the conversion. Eric Pauley, junior college transfer from a year ago out of Cypress Community College. I believe California. he went to the same school that Sven Nader went to. Yeah. 241 to go. Pauley gets Kansas to within one. Nebraska 61, Kansas 60, 241 to go from Lincoln. And we'll be right back. Volvo just figured out how to lower the defense budget without threatening national security. Call for the dealer nearest you. Hey man, you never stop proving yourself in the city. You gotta be consistent and you gotta come correct. Every time you go outside, it's time to lace up the boots, the battlefield. People saw you play in different areas, so you got a reputation all around the city. Sometimes a guy will say something like, yo, I blocked your duck. You gotta block me every night, because I'm hungry. If anybody has any doubts, they can meet me in the park uptown, Forest Playground. If you doubt us, come try it. It's time to stop talking and it's time to bounce the ball. If you got game, they're gonna tell you, you got game. If you don't, you lame. Simple as that. While the new administration may offer Americans a new lease on life, we can definitely offer you a new lease on a Volvo. Call for the dealer nearest you. Wouldn't it be great if you could afford a luxurious mansion? For you and all your friends? Of course the place needed some updates. Like a bowling alley and a pool table. Naturally, you'd have an open house. Oh, with beer. Yeah, I'll do something. Icy cold filtered Keystone, Keystone Light, and Keystone Drive. Bottle beer taste in a can. Now, wouldn't that be great? Olympic champion Christy Yamaguchi takes on pro skating's leading ladies. It's the Doris Off Colors World Challenge of Champions. Saturday on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Well, here's today's Pizza Hut delivery of the game, and to deliver it, my favorite delivery man, Dick Vitale. Well, there right now, Mr. Chandler comes up big. There's the 45-degree angle, the dump down. Chandler goes up. He counts it. The delivery man. Hey, Chandler, you got to stop and smell the pizza, baby. <laughs> there's a look at the clock, 61-60. See the timeouts left. Nebraska leads it by one. This game went to overtime last year. Danny Knee, 8-1 and one in overtime games here. I'll tell you this, they beat him five out of six times on this floor. Look at Jordan trying to invite him into the sideline, trying to take him into a trapping area. Execution right now becomes big. Kowski thought about it, takes it inside, knocked loose, and here comes Walters with the basketball. No call at the other end. Walters takes it, won't go, and look at Hancock. Shows his athletic ability right there with the follow. Sometimes you have to have an athlete on the floor was the exact words of Roy Williams today at their shoot-around. And what he lacks maybe in shooting the basketball, he makes up with the great legs and a bounce off the floor. His first two points of the game, Kansas leads it by one with just over two to go. Can't teach what he just did. Run the court, get up there, timing, tremendous leaper. Execution, shot selection. Hayakowski and Johnson, the two guys I'd want to shoot the ball. Even though Johnson's struggling this year, I really believe you want the experience. You want him to shoot it. Johnson for three, in and out, gets his own rebound back. Thought about it for a second, and they'll set it back up with 138 left to go. That was a great shot. He had the good look at the basket, squared his body. Hayakowski's another guy you want to get the ball to. He's a tough competitor, and he's also pretty good on a free throw line. And he wants the basketball. Hayakowski wants it in crunch time. Sir? Danny Knee holding up his sign over there that says black. They use a lot of signs to dictate what their plays are offensively and defensively. 115. Certain guys run away from the ball at the end of the game. Walters matched up on Piakowski. Piakowski's got size on him. 10 on the shot clock. He's got Down to 7. That's a tough three-pointer. Hits it! Big-time player, Johnson. 
He comes up with the long-range NBA three. Not exactly the way you would design, but he is the guy that I'd want to shoot the ball as well as Kwiatkowski. Two-point lead. Woodbury follows his missing in. Steve Woodbury what with eight in the second half, 17 for the game. What an active player, Woodbury. Plays either one of the guard slots, plays a small forward position. Shot clock is off. We're tied at 64. Got to take the last shot. Piakowski would be the guy I'd want to get the ball. Chandler shot. has it down low. And the whistle. I think he shot the ball too soon, Roger. You got to really use the clock a little bit better than that. Now you go to the free throw line with a guy that's in the 50 percentile range. Foul number 34, Richard Scott. That's going to be it for Richard Scott. He's just fouled out of the game with 28 seconds left to go. Chandler, a 58% shooter on the free throw line. I think right there you got to use more clock. Coach Twible, oh, I, I agree feeling? with you 100%. You gotta, I think, though, as we've seen all day today, once you get it into Chandler, it's not coming back outside. Well, you know, you got right now a situation where you're at home. You're very tough at home. You take the clock down, you either win the basketball game or you go to overtime. At home, usually favors in terms of the overtime team, usually has the favor really here at home. Kansas wants a timeout. 28 seconds left to go. We're tied at 64 in Lincoln. transatlantic cable connecting Ireland and America. It was made by Siemens. That was then. This is now. Today, Siemens makes telephone switches that handle a million calls in a single hour, carry voice, text, and data on a single phone line. And at 23 research sites in America, the people of Siemens are developing technologies to connect us all to the future. Siemens. Precision thinking. Tony and Diane get regular insurance checkups, just like they get regular medical checkups. I'm State Farm Agent Carlos Bermudez. I have been their State Farm Agent seven years. A family insurance checkup helps them make sure all their coverages are up to date. It's also a good time to explore options, like how their life insurance plan can be adapted to help with their daughter's college education. I think the family insurance checkup is something everybody can feel good about. State Farm is there. Welcome back here to the Devaney Center on the campus of the University of Nebraska along with Dick Vitale. I'm Roger Twibell. It's tied at 64, and Chandler's going to go to the line to shoot, too. Uh, Dick, is it Chandler's fault? He took the shot, or is it the fault of the guy that threw it into him? Well, I think also you got to bring the ball back out. It's his fault as well. He's a senior. you got to know the clock. Mismanagement of the time right there. Now he puts pressure on himself to make these free throws right here, and he's not a good free throw shooter, a 58% shooter on the line. They could have went for the last shot. Well, we want to welcome those of you joining us here in Lincoln, Nebraska for this game between Kansas and Nebraska. The Jayhawks ranked third in the nation. It's tied at 64, 28 seconds left to go. And Chandler, even though he is not a good shooter on the season, so far today he is six out of nine. And along with Dick Vitale, I'm Roger Twibell. We welcome you here, a arena where Kansas has struggled the last few years. They have lost the last two trips here to Lincoln in five of the last six. Right now, if he converts this, you're down three. You look for the deuce to tie it. If, if it's not there, if the three-point shot is available in your normal offensive set, you take the three-pointer to win it. 66-64. Nebraska leads it. Walters, the leaner in the lane, won't go. Patchett has it. And he's fouled immediately. Foul is on Rex Walters. Walters did a great job getting into the three-second lane, used the head fake and a pump fake for the 12-footer, but it comes up empty. Higgins Jackie goes <laughs> off. Perspiring, sweating like you can't believe Danny D. Takes the jacket off, anticipating, smelling possibly the big W over the number three team in the nation. Oh, he's over there with Gary Bargan, Jimmy Williams, and Jeff Smith, his assistant coaches. Man, the brain trust, they're arguing about what to do. They did a great job yesterday in a team meeting. I happen to be part of that, listening to them in their game plan, breaking down the film. Gary did a great job, Bergen, analyzing, evaluating. Timeout on the floor. 16 seconds left to go here in Lincoln. And the Cornhuskers lead it by two. Want to break a European's heart? Let him test drive a Buick Park Avenue Ultra for two weeks. Then take it away. You see, the Ultra with its supercharged engine, luxury appointments, and Buick quality is built in such limited quantities, it's just not available in Europe yet. Want to break a European's heart? Let him drive an Ultra, then take it away. The North Carolina Tar Heels meet
Georgia Tech. Or DePaul invades Memphis State to tip off a regional doubleheader next Sunday on ABC Sports. Well, coming up on the Pizza College basketball doubleheader next Sunday here on ABC Sports, North Carolina and Georgia Tech and DePaul and Memphis State and Freddie Hardaway. If you haven't seen him, watch it, folks. And then Dick and I will be in Louisville against UNLV, Oregon, UCLA, and Cal and Stanford. That's next Sunday, regional coverage here on ABC Sports. And if you haven't seen J.R. Ryder, you want to see him. Sensational scorer machine for Roley Massimino and for that UNLV team. Right here, Badgett goes to the line, a 62% shooter. He's been big in the second half, Dick. He's had eight points. He's got 11 for the game. And he really gave him a little incentive because he's a good defensive player. And he created some things defensively and finished him off on the offensive end. Well, he made a great play when he went coast to coast off that rebound. Really excited everyone. Look, everyone's quiet. Gives Kansas life right now. He converted both. They would have needed two possessions. Now it's a one possession game. Badgett, a redshirt freshman from Omaha. Look at Danny sweating. He's standing up. Coaches, here's where you lose your hair. You go bananas on a sideline. He's line. already had an ulcer. Your stomach is churning. And Kansas, he misses them both. Kansas has got life. They can tie this if they go for the deuce if it's there. Or look for the three if it's available. Walters inside. Loses it. On the floor. Badgett has got it. It's, it's over, baby. Oh! Remember Buick, the new symbol for quality in America. And by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We've got a bit of an edge with the driver we have. We've got the best driver out there. So it's, it's a matter of, of the mechanics just not overlooking anything. Al and I stay in, uh, stay in constant uh, communication uh, during the race. Uh, I have to be aware of what he wants or needs, you know, at all times. I think the small details are the, uh, is what makes the difference between winning and running second. Hello, Pizza Hut. Yeah, we've got the Steak Lovers Pizza. Yes, we are the home of the Steak Lovers Pizza. Strips of steak and a delicious sauce. Steak Lovers, yes. It's got onions and three kinds of cheese. Domino's. No, don't have it. No steak, no lovers, no nothing like that. We're Domino's. Yes, we have Steak Lovers Pizza. Yes. No. Yes, we'll deliver it right away. If you want a Steak Lovers Pizza, there's only one place to get it. Yes, we have it. Yes. No Siri Bufsky. Yes, yes. Pizza Hut. Sometimes you gotta stop and smell the pizza. Welcome to the Volvo Post Game Report. Fourteen thousand six hundred seventy-nine here today, and they've all been down on the floor as Nebraska does it again. They upset Kansas, sixty-eight, sixty-four. And standing by right now with Danny Knee is Dick Vitale. Dick, Roger, it's absolutely bananas here. I mean, this place is going crazy. I'm here with Danny. Some anxious moments at the end, but a great, great win. You needed a win over a heavyweight team to excite that NCAA committee for the future. Look at this. There's the net. The, the kids. We've been struggling all year. We settled down, Nidia. I thought we'd play with a lot of composure, play smart, you know, and we've been lucky against Kansas. I'll tell you one thing. You beat them now six out of seven years that you've been here at Nebraska, but you had to be anxious at the end. I don't think you wanted the kind of shot where Chandler shot the ball with 28 seconds, giving him some life. You know, Dick, that's how we've been all year. We haven't been smart with the ball, but I thought Chandler then made the free throw. But, but Jamar Johnson, Jill in the three, we're coming together. We're a young basketball team, one senior. A win like this could catapult you. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You've certainly built a lot of excitement here at Nebraska. These fans were great today for you. Thank you. They're great. They're awesome. They love you. It's great. Thank you. I'll tell you, Daddy, I can't hear a thing. We need a T.O. here, baby. This is unbelievable. It's wild. Look at the fans. They're going crazy. Unbelievable. Uh -oh. 
figured out how to lower the defense budget without threatening national security. Call for the dealer nearest you. While the new administration may offer Americans a new lease on life, we can definitely offer you a new lease on a Volvo. Call for the dealer nearest you. Everybody hates to eat and run. We'd rather take it slow. But the way this life is going, gotta grab your food and go. And when all that running round catches up with you at last, get yourself some Alka Seltzer and you'll feel better fast. For acid indigestion or heartburn with headache, nothing's faster or more effective than Alka Seltzer. Get yourself some Alka Seltzer and you'll feel better fast. Use only as directed. Well, and welcome back to the Volvo Post Game Report along with Dick Vitale. I'm Roger Twible, 40-31 at halftime. Kansas uh, seemed to be cruising. Nebraska a little bit disorganized, but Dick, they came out in the second half. They stepped it up defensively. They went on a 23-6 run over the first 11 minutes of the second half. And once again, after being devastated at Iowa State on the road, as they were at Missouri the year before with a 26-27 point loss, they come in here and they beat the third-ranked Jayhawks. Well, we were talking about playing on your own floor. It's such an advantage. We saw yesterday a Memphis State team beats a Cincinnati team at home. Things happen at home because of the crowd, the great fan support. The fan support here today was electrifying. And it just gave that team a tremendous lift. I thought also the first four minutes after halftime where Kansas, if they came out with a spurt, could have blown it open since they were up by double figures. But Nebraska didn't allow that to happen. You know, at the end of the game, we talked about Nebraska's defense. Badgett, and watch him, number 43, comes up with the loose ball and then the finish. Hey, he should be in a slam fest. Look at him. Up, up, and away. He had 10 second-half points, Dick, and he did it on the defensive end, too. You know, Rex Walters really tried to make the big play. He was trying to create the Chandler the deflection. Chandler with the deflection and Badger with the loose ball. And now the agility and the mobility of the diaper dandy. And there he goes, the elevator man. That was the exclamation point. Good night. Badgett, 13 points on the day, averages just seven on the season. And for Kansas coming up, they're at home against Oklahoma State. They're so tough at Allen Fieldhouse. Then at Missouri, Oklahoma, Kansas State, at Iowa State, and that's always a tough one. And then they finish up at Oklahoma State. That's an ABC game. Well, now Nebraska, this is what's coming up. They've got to go to Kansas State, and there's a little payback needed there, Dick. Well, payback. Kansas State, very tough at home. Dana Altman's team has really been a surprise. They have to win the games at home and maybe sneak another win. But this win today should really put them in great shape in terms of talking about getting into the NCAA tournament. Nebraska now 15 and 7 on the year, and we've reached that three-quarter mark of the season. And now they can say that they've beaten a ranked team. They have beaten a top five team. They have beaten a team, which I know you've picked on several occasions to make it to the final four. Yet there's still some conference work to be done. They're only three and four there. Well, there's no doubt. They lost that heartbreaker at home here to Kansas State by Deuce. If they win that game here, they're better than 500 in the first half of the season. But instead, they're three and four. But now this team should really get a great lift out of this W. They should really get some momentum, and they should build from it. That locker room should be jubilation right now. The students at Lincoln, it'll be party time galore here with all these students. I mean, they were going wild here today. All right, we'll be back with more. Nebraska has beaten Kansas 68-64. Volvo just figured out how to lower the defense budget without threatening national security. Call for the dealer nearest you. While the new administration may offer Americans a new lease on life, we can definitely offer you a new lease on a Volvo. Call for the dealer nearest you. Hey, I'm vain. Of course I'm vain. That's why I comb my hair the way I do. I stay in shape the way I do. That's why I use Power Stick. 50% more wetness and odor fighters per stroke. Power Stick by Fabergé. Power that won't let you down. I told you I was vain. Alka-Seltzer Plus Nighttime. For relief without alcohol, hit the box, not the bottle. 
Last thing's going. And welcome back to the Devaney Center here in Lincoln, Nebraska. The AP Top 10. Let's uh, let's take a look and uh, show you what happened there. Uh, Top-ranked Indiana with a win over ninth-ranked Iowa. Then Kentucky ranked second over Vanderbilt. A little payback there. Third-ranked Kansas beaten by Nebraska. Fourth-ranked Cincinnati beaten by Memphis State. And Duke at five continues to cruise. Well, Duke certainly had the big win over North Carolina. Hey, we just got greeted also by Mr. Frazier here, their quarterback, who ultimately will be a Heisman Trophy winner. Here he is greeting us here. Tommy, how you doing? He doesn't have a microphone, but he's from all of Bradenton, Florida. He's one of my friends down here. Tommy but, Frazier, freshman quarterback in Nebraska this last year. But this is uh, now becoming somewhat of a basketball, basketball. School, There's no huh? question. They really did a great job today. And I really attribute a lot of it to the effort of the team, but also the fan support here, where they've increased attendance tremendously. Since Danny Nee has arrived, they've created so much excitement here in basketball. But I'll tell you this. I disagree with the ratings that took place in the USA today, where they rate all the conferences. This year, if I had a rate, ratings, the, right? the computer ratings. I don't agree with their rating. They had the Big 8 number one. I'm sorry to say there's no way from top to bottom this year that they're number one. I mean, I'm not a computer. I'm a dummy, but I could figure that out. Big 10 number one, ACC number two, Big 8 number three, SEC number four, Big East number five. We'll be back. <laughs> Volvo just figured out how to lower the defense budget without threatening national security. Call for the dealer nearest you. While the new administration may offer Americans a new lease on life, we can definitely offer you a new lease on a Volvo. Call for the dealer nearest you. BASF, we don't make the skates, we make them ride smoother. We don't make the shampoo, we make it gentler. We don't make the music, we make it clearer. We don't make the surfboard, we make it stronger. At BASF, we don't make a lot of the products you buy, we make a lot of the products you buy better. BASF. Next Sunday here on ABC Sports, our Pizza Hut College basketball doubleheader will feature North Carolina and Georgia Tech. Some of you will see DePaul and Memphis State and their outstanding player, Anthony Hardaway. Then, after that, it'll be Louisville against UNLV, Oregon against UCLA, and Cal against Stanford. That's next Sunday. Regional coverage at 345 Eastern, 1245 Pacific time. Derek Chandler, 19 points, 12 rebounds, and Terrence Badgett, the big second half, where he came up with 10 points. For Dick Vitale, I'm Roger Twible, 68-64 the final. Nebraska upsets Kansas. We'll see you next Sunday. This has been the Volvo Post Game Report.